We now welcome uh, Fui Vakapuna into Studio uh, B. He's the assistant to the athletic director for student services. So basically the Polynesian Dwight Schrute of BYU <laughs> Athletics. Fui, welcome to the show. Malo <laughs> so you're not assistant athletic director, assistant two, right? Assistant Just two. like Dwight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, how long have you been in this position in the athletic department, and what is it that you do? It'll be over over three years, just a little over three years, four four years in July. So uh, um, I, I do uh, help uh, assist with uh, recruiting. I wear a lot of hats, recruiting, work with uh, admissions, I work with honor code, I work uh, work with a lot of uh, work with the coaches, uh, mentor the kids. Um, just a whole transition from high school to to uh, to BYU, and just what the realities are and things yes. like that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we all know those those realities when you gotta uh, put on the the big boy pants. So so how is that that you know transition from with you from the NFL um, to everyday life been been like? Uh, to me, it's it, it was a blessing. You know, I worked for uh, scenic, scenic View Academy, okay. um, and uh, I was an employment specialist in between uh, uh, the NFL. So I would I'd volunteer and go help out um, adults with uh, disabilities find jobs. Okay. And uh, I volunteered, and then after that, they they hired me on in between, and then uh, this position opened up, and then Reno Mahe was the one that. <laughs> Hey, you need to check this out. You'd be fit for this this uh, ch type of job, and you know, applied for it. And Tom hired me on. Yeah, I think everyone's been uh, excited to have you in the athletic department. A fan favorite, Fui Vakapuna in Studio B. Remind us of your uh, time in the NFL. What teams and what years? Because you were the last draft pick uh, in the running back position from BYU. Harvey Unga was a supplemental pick. Yeah. But the traditional kind of draft. You're the last running back in '09, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fullback. I, uh, I'm a fullback, so I think it, uh, that that title will reign for a little bit until uh, whoever whoever. Fullback. No fullback. But um, man, uh, that experience was pretty awesome. Um, it's it's crazy because before that, I uh, the bowl game just just a rewind before before that draft, the bowl game, I got hurt against Arizona. Rob Gronkowski <laughs> in that game. Yeah, he was in that game. I got hurt, and uh, I didn't have opportunity to be in the, um, the NFL Combine. I, I, I was I didn't, uh, the the Senior Bowl, any any experiences like that. It, I just went into a pro day here uh, here at BYU and had to showcase my skills, and and put just put some times down. And uh, luckily, uh, the running back coach for the Bengals uh, was there, and uh, he watched me and uh, gave me a little workout. Well, a, a hardcore <laughs> workout <laughs> <laughs> testing me and then uh and that that right there kind of that whole process that's when i think that's when uh i would say my stock went up a little yeah. bit because of that yeah. so that was that was pretty cool to have that that experience so that, so that wasn't an ideal situation for you leading up right or any kid really leading up to the draft because you want to have every opportunity to showcase um but but guys like like Taysom is kind of similar as far as you know, injuries, you know, right after uh, the season, um, but still having an opportunity like like you in the in the in the, the pro day. Um, what do you think his ideal situation would be in the NFL? He's he, he's he's a he's a Thorter back. You know, <laughs> he's Thor. Thor back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, I, I I think with with Taysom, if if he if he gets that opportunity, he's gonna he's gonna take it like. He's competitive. He's he's very competitive, and if if a team picks him up, you know he's he's gonna get that opportunity. They're they're gonna see what he can do. He's gonna showcase his skills, and I think preseason he's gonna get that opportunity to to showcase his skills in that. And I I I, I think he'll he'll, he'll land a job yeah. definitely. So there's been talks about him uh, making an NFL roster by switching positions, linebacker, running back, whatever the case is. What do you think he should do? Do you think that he should do that, or is that his best opportunity to make a team? I think, you know, I, I, I had an opportunity to play with Tim Tebow, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, Taysom, uh, just my opinion, he's a better thrower than Tim, Tim yeah. Tebow. Yeah. And uh, and um, I think he has that opportunity to be a quarterback in in, in the NFL. Yes. So, you know, I, I, I want him to, to – to take it, yeah. you know, and, and, and go grab it and kick down the door and j just showcase, even though injuries are, were there for him, but there's an opportunity for, 
for him to be a quarterback in the NFL. Like Vic Soto just kicked down a door, you know? That's hilarious. Two points for Jared. Uh, the I believe it was with the Jets, right? When you played with yeah, Tebow, is that right? yeah. What was it like to play with Tim Tebow? That was pretty cool. It, it was cool. We got to sit down and talk about missionary work. Nice. That was that was pretty cool because he's like, "You from BYU?" I'm like, "Yeah." You Mormon? Yeah. Oh, I I started my mission in uh, in, in the Philippines. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." When I grew up there, I'm like, "Yeah." Then we started talking about the first discussion, and it just kind of went on. With Sione Poha, he used to play. He he played over there with. And uh, with the Jets, so that was that was pretty cool, cool experience. Cool experience nice. to be with the Jets, and um, yeah, he's he's a hard worker. Talk about hard work, dedication. That that guy, he could he could do he could play tight end, he, <laughs> fullback, or whatever. He could play uh, <laughs> outfield <laughs> in uh, the minors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. Um, so fully, th- since I played and since you played, I've, I felt like more guys have just been getting. Uh, opportunities at the next level, maybe not so much drafted, but at least free agents. Um, what do you think the reason for that is, um, you know, from, from when you and I played uh, compared to now? I think, I, I really think it starts with um, with the players in the NFL, you know, the, when when they see BYU and they, they see that type of standard um, of, of quality, quality of play, eventually it's, it's going to grow. You see Kyle, Kyle set that standard, Ziggy, yeah. you know, big. And I think that we're getting that right now, that, that attention, that, that quality of player to play and, and have that longevity in, um, in the NFL. Um, I, th- I think it's, it's beginning right now. Mm-hmm. I think it's, it, it started. And um, kudos to Bronco and, uh, you know, their recruiting style and bringing that quality of player in. And it's, it's, it's coming. It's, I think it's, it's, it's building. It's building. Do you think this is something that we have to wait for and just let it build over time? Or is, do you think there's anything that we can do to accelerate it? Like like maybe have like a program where we're just blasting a whole bunch of DVDs and highlight tapes, you know, to these scouts. It's 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 the quality of play even in, 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 uh, in our opponent, you know. Like l- last year we had some solid games. This year we have a, a gauntlet. Yeah. That we have to go through, yeah, and uh, guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know LSU, you know that that's that's that right there. Six these, draft picks on that team. These guys need to these these guys need to ball out and compete in a, in a level where you know that that standard is the NFL, yeah. you know SEC. And I think we if if these guys can show show out, definitely they, they they'll have an opportunity. You see Kyle dominating Ole Miss. Yeah. You know yeah. that that and I, and I was in the league like. Man, who's that dude right there? Like, <laughs> he got the fumble, touchdown. Well, we win the game, right? Yeah. So it's 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 that type of you know excitement that brings you know a lot of uh, a lot of attention to to those individual players. The draft picks since 2011, the three have been defensive: Ziggy, Kyle Van Noy, and then let's see what Bronson Kafusi can do, right, with the Ravens. Defense. So now we're looking for some offense, right? And yeah. here we have Jamal Williams. Maybe the best running back prospect west of Fui Vakapuna we've ever <laughs> seen in the NFL draft, right? Um, what do you think is in store for Jamal Williams in the draft? You know, Jamal is a, to me is a special kid. Um, he he's 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 one of those guys that um, he's a slasher. He 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 takes every inch, right? He tries to get every inch. Um, well, when he showcased that ability, you know, Arizona was that first, like, whoa. Yep. Like, he, he's a grown man now. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he came in when he was a young boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he was, what, 17? 16? 16? Just, turned, just, turned just turned 17. <laughs> and, and I remember, you know, helping, helping him out. And I was like, who's this kid? Man, he has some good feet. Like, you know, we have big backs, poly backs. We got two left feet, and we're just going to run straight at you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but with Jamal, you know, you could see his potential when he was just a young man. And when... You know, how old are you? Uh, just turned seventeen, or you know, I'm like, wow, you, you're going to prom, be special. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you when you when you, we saw we saw his his growth, you know, in in spring ball, but when he exploded was that that Arizona game, and he was just cut, like going in between, and all of a sudden just exploding off. Uh, to me, I'm like, wow, he's a man. That this is a man. Like NFL NFL scouts better watch out. He's still young. he's a still young kid, yeah. you know. So he has that longevity in my opinion, to, to be successful in the NFL. The anti-Taysom in a way, because Taysom Hill's 26, will be 27. Yeah. 
So there's the Brandon Whedon side of that, right? Yeah. And then there's the young side here with uh, Jamal Williams. And at this this week, you went through this, right? Yeah. You're hoping to be drafted, nervous. You want to make it, right? So what was it like emotionally for you? It was emotionally. It was it was exciting. Uh, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> you know that was that. And um, when when the NFL scouts they would call you, right? They they would call you and uh, hey, we're, we're interested. We're interested. So you know that those those three days. Before the before the draft, you know, I had the, the Raiders call me. I had the Bengals, the the Giants, the the Jets, like um, the Jaguars. So you're you're up and you're like, wow, how how do you how do you man? Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. Just pick me up then. Like right, right. We'll, we'll see it when we'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it right, when my name goes across the across the TV. So that that experience, it was you just had to stay. You have to stay busy. You be around yeah. family. You know, stay. You know, do your little workout. Play video games like Jamal. That's hey. <laughs> roller, you know, roller skating. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's, his mom Nicole was on the show yesterday and said he wasn't going to watch the draft. He was going to be playing video games yeah, and then they'll just call him. That's uh, I like his style. That's stay, Jamal, busy. Right? stay busy. Yeah, stay busy. Yeah, stay busy. Exactly. I, I would say stay busy. You know, stay busy doing something because. You're just gonna be like you, you have no control. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. no control. You've already controlled what you can yeah. control right. yeah. up to this point. Yeah. Yep. Well, great stuff, Fui. We appreciate the time. We're very excited to see where Jamal Williams goes, and he'll be the first running back pick. That's in awesome. The traditional draft since you. Oh. So. Go Jamal. Run him over. But, <laughs> but not the first fullback. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Fui Bakapuna. We appreciate the time, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.